Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Jake Ludington here with Sean Doherty of Enterprise DB, a relational database company that's built on top of Postgres, which we all know as a uh, open source solution. But what is different about Enterprise DB and its implementation? Sure, so Enterprise DB is the Enterprise PostgreSQL company. We have the world's only certified and supported uh, database distribution built on PostgreSQL. So what we've done is we've uh, taken PostgreSQL as the core database and um, added four kind of buckets of additional technology around um, performance enhancements, management and monitoring and tooling for developers and DBAs, um, also security enhancements, and then finally the fourth bucket of Oracle compatibility. And then when we've bundled that all together and uh, we distribute that as Postgres plus advanced server. Now wait, so you said Oracle compatibility. I, I don't know of anything that's really Oracle compatibility. How does that work? Yeah, it's a good, it's a good question. So the, the founding of the company was really to try and um, give customers a way to avoid the lock-in of, of being with one particular uh, database vendor, particularly when it's very expensive, and, and free up some of those dollars to do things um, that really can help your business succeed as, a, as opposed to spending it on database. And so what we've done is we've taken PLSQL, which is Oracle's database language, and we've built that into the, um, into the core of PostgreSQL, along with um, additional Oracle features like stored procedures and functions and triggers, so that you can take an application that you wrote for an Oracle database and migrate it to Postgres Plus Advanced Server with virtually no need to change the application code. And that runs cross-platform Windows, Linux, HPUX? It does. It does. It runs on uh, uh, Windows, actually 32 and 64 bits, same with uh, Linux. And um, our heritage is really in Linux and Windows. But in June, we uh, launched Postgres Plus Advanced Server 9.0, which is our uh, the, actually the world's first um, certified supported enterprise build of a Postgres database for HPUX on Itanium. The, the, the real key there is now um, when you're using both your standards-based servers and your higher-end um, Unix servers, you can use the same database to handle your pedestrian applications and your mission-critical applications on the uh, integrity servers running Itanium. And how did that HP partnership come together? So we've been working with HP for about a year and a half and um, uh, the initiatives are, are um, you know, there are many of them, but really where we, we find the most traction is with the, the field sales team with um, the, the groups that um, in BCS, their business critical systems, who have customers that want to keep their, uh, keep their HP UX on integrity, but they need to know what they have to do to move off of Oracle due to Oracle's recent announcement that they're no longer supporting their database on Itanium. So we've created this solution together to give customers a migration path away from Oracle and still take advantage of all the great performance benefits that you would find with um, Itanium. So is there anything else we should know about Enterprise DB? Well, I think what's um, the, the key to all of this isn't just the Oracle compatibility technology and the migration process that makes it easy to do. Um, it's also, frankly, about a tenth of the cost for an average customer to move from Oracle to Postgres Plus Advanced Server with HP. And because of our partnership with HP, we now have a lot more of a global breadth to, um, to service larger customers that are used to um, looking at a company like HP as their trusted technology advisor. Do you find that um, that the sort of greater community of DBA experts are um, better able to implement solutions like Enterprise DB, having come up in a world where Oracle was not the only solution? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question. So. PostgreSQL is actually considered by many to be the third most distributed database in the world already, besides um, Oracle and MySQL, which is, as we all know, is now Oracle MySQL. So um, PostgreSQL is distributed with every Linux distribution from Red Hat Enterprise Linux to Fedora to CentOS. In fact, I even think Oracle Unbreakable Linux distributes PostgreSQL. So it's out there. and um, and developers particularly in the enterprise still aren't so familiar with it because it hasn't it hasn't gained the popularity that MySQL had in the early days of the kind of web 2.0 applications now with MySQL being acquired by um, Sun and then Oracle it's really kind of 
t lifted the veil on open source database technologies because PostgreSQL really is the only open source database that can compete and was made to compete with the likes of Oracle or DB2 or other proprietary um, transactional databases. And in a world where NoSQL has definitely become a buzzword, is is there really still a place for relational databases? So it's it's funny because you know um, NoSQL is definitely going to be important in a particular uh, workload, definitely. And um, but we sometimes see that a little bit as a shiny red button syndrome because you know the database industry as a whole is about twenty six billion dollars, and um, you know about four and a half billion of that is in data warehouse and the rest is in RDBMS. It's in your very traditional um, transactional database workloads. And so um, while every five or 10 years someone's looking for a solution to get rid of RDBMS and find something new, it turns out for enterprise applications, that's really, that's the best solution. So I think it's gonna be around for some time to, to come. Excellent, well thanks, Sean. Sure, thank you.